Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing how you can get files from your iPad and put them onto your Ubuntu computer with a USB cable. Uh, I have a prior tutorial that shows how you can use GTK Pod with Ubuntu with an iPod. But an iPod is different than an iPad and when they came out with the iPad for some reason GTK Pod would not recognize it. I think people are working on that right now, but right now it's still kind of up in the air. I had been using my iPad as a camera, and then I wanted to transfer the video files to my Ubuntu. And I can use Dropbox to do that, but it takes a very long time to transfer the files. However, with a USB cable, you can transfer the files rather quickly. I bought a magazine in the bookstore and it's called Linux Tips, Tricks, Apps, and Hacks. And it's from the UK, from England. And in the back of it, there is a CD that has a whole bunch of extra things. And I found this PDF file, and I read it, and it's very good. And here it says, Installing on Ubuntu 9.10. So I assume this is a rather old file. But I went down and it said GTK pod and then it said get fuse. So I made sure that my Ubuntu Software Center had fuse installed. And it talks about handbrake, this, that, and the other. At the very end of it, it gives the name of the guy who wrote this really good article. His name is Sucrete and he's from the United Kingdom, I think. Well, I am now going to plug my iPad into the USB port of the computer and you'll see what happens when I go over here I'm just gonna plug it in and you'll be able to hear it and it immediately gets recognized and it's gonna make two icons why I don't know and there's some problems here so I need to explain to you what's cooking the first one that's here is this one documents on the iPad and it kinda just shows all of the different programs that are on your iPad and that was of no use to me so I open up the other one and this is sort of like Nautilus and when I tap on it it does the same sort of thing that I saw when I demonstrated the Visioneer a scanner from a couple of videos back. There's a DCIM folder and you open it up. It says one item that's deceptive because it's got a subfolder in there called a hundred Apple and there's 25 things in there both movies and videos. Now you can go over to date modified and tap on it and tap on it again and it'll get you the latest and greatest and it shows you everything that's in in the, the uh, iPad and if you want to you can copy a movie and transfer it via cable so first highlight it right click copy diminish go to your desktop control V paste and this is a half a gigabyte movie and you can see that the transfer speed is pretty darn quick if I use Dropbox this would take me a very long time and it says it's going to take a half a minute to get this movie and as soon as the movie is completed I can just tap on it and watch it either with VLC or the movie player now you might ask, well shoot, why don't you just try playing it from the iPad? Okay, let's go back. And I'm going to go back into that same folder, DCIM. And I'm not going to do it because the whole thing's going to mess up. If you try to do it, it will gray out. Which brings me to a very important topic. You may wonder where Linux came from. And I'm going to tell you. Uh, Linux, when it grays out, it came from the grays. 
And I know this is true because one of the most important men on planet Earth told me this, Giorgio. Well, there are so many dependencies and stuff with Linux, it takes a long time to sort this stuff out. And this is sort of a stopgap deal that we are using to uh, transfer the files. It doesn't work really well. Now, I can tap on a JPG and open it with Image Viewer. And you see it takes a while to travel through that cable and it's only 972 kilobytes and it's still graying out. Would you look at that? I mean, that's just terrible. And I don't know what the deal is on that. I think that there is something wrong. Now, hopefully I am still recording by means of Screencaster, but I have been unable to view that JPG file. Furthermore, since it's grayed out, it says it's not responding. Force quit. Okay, I was able to force quit. Let's see if we can get back to it and just transfer it. And I'm tapping on it. And we're going back to DCIM. This is an opportunity to repeat how to get there from here. Uh, highlight it, right click it, copy it. I've copied it, I guess. Diminish. Go to my screen here. Control V to paste it. And I guess that's done. I mean, that's not very big a file. Open with Image Viewer. And that's the cover of the magazine that I got at Barnes & Noble. I'm going to turn it around. Now, I took a, a picture of it uh, with the iPad, which is a pretty good camera. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit gray. But this is the uh, magazine that I got that uh, tip from. There's a whole bunch of things like that in magazines. Now, the darn thing was like $30, as you can see, which is a lot of money for uh, an American magazine. But it does come from England. And it does seem to me that a great deal of Ubuntu stuff comes out of Europe, more so than in the United States. My name is Pop, and I have a whole bunch of videos in YouTube, and I call them Ubuntu Basics, and I thank you very much for watching.